Hey, look, bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time, you know, stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, just thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. Sorry about that, y'all. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. You know, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos, you know, just really give you a good vibe and you can truly resonate, you know, please, you know, go ahead and share. And um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today's video uh, content is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, day by day, you're starting to project the power uh, powerful warrior the devil was hoping was forgotten it's true you know a lot of times you, you don't understand how much is you know is meant to go against us you know things are sent so many different ways through others you know through the tribes through you know through our insecurities through family friends you know all these different people known and unknown um that sit to break us but don't realize that is going to be something that is going to empower us and a lot of times you're like, well, Rosalind, how is that going to empower us? I'm like, hold on, I'm about to drop the tea to that. And literally. These are the things that's showing you where your healing needs to take place at. You know, if there are certain things that still annoys you, it's telling you, you got to have patience for different things in your life. You know, things are being revealed to you, but it's not re being revealed to you in the paces that, you know, in the, in the vibration and the speed that you were hoping for. You know, different things that are still triggering you is telling you where you need to heal. You know, where you need to take your power back. You need to release that power to whatever it is, whatever situation, whatever thought form, the person, whatever. These are the things that shows you there's, you know, even when it comes to people, there's parts of you that they mirror off that you don't even realize that you've been concealing for a long time. You know, and it's just like so many different things that's taking place in my life where, I mean, it, it was like... You know, I took a break yesterday. Um, and I know it's like, how you take a break? You have videos going. <laughs> I said I was downloading. When I told y'all I was uploading so many daggone videos for the last few days. You know, I just hit them back to back to back. And it just allowed me to get that revelation of just, you know, giving thanks. You know, you, you know you're allowing yourself to heal when you're even giving thanks to the things that, that overshadowed you. You know, the different things that uh, really... Uh, have felt like it hurt you in some kind of way because it showed you where where your power is still going you know if it's not you know you're going through that journey where you're, you're so frustrated and angry at different people about different circumstances from the past you know certain situations that you know is hard for you to let go of that's showing you where you need to go within it and you know those are the things that are not easy to do but it's just like these are the things that showing you where your power you still hold your power you know, but a lot of times, you know, things that we we have uh, gone through and faced is kind of hard for us to shake it at times, and it's okay. You know, we're you know we're in human form, so that is okay. There are certain things that's a lot harder for us to just drop and just say, okay, I appreciate it, give gratitude, let me move on. You know, we understand that, but that's where the power play comes in. That's the game play. You flipping scripts. You know, I told people you you are a powerful plot twist, and you're not not even realizing it. You know, you are very, uh, very much of a strong individual. You know, you're going through different things because it's like we, we see the things that goes on in the world. We get irritated by how others treat other people, how people get away with murder. Literally, you know, uh, you know, so to say and so not to say, you know, um, and different things like that. But we are taking place on the change that we want in the world. We have to start with ourselves first. And it's just like when I can go and, and just look at everything that I've gone through, you know, I had to allow myself to really see this is really what showed me where, you know, my vibrations was truly, uh, you know, truly meaning to allow me to really see who I was under the surface of, uh, sorry, y'all, I was letting my sage blow through and I wanted to go ahead and light it back again. Um you know go through all these different things and it and it really showed me what i was underneath it all you know um it, it's like that power is underneath the you know the pain the anguish the the trauma um the tragedies the sadness the disappointment the regret the resentment 
anger, confusion, all those different things was holding on to me at times. And I was really, you know, I, I became best friends with that. You know, I backpacked it all the time. And then when I allowed myself to do that, you know, I had that courage. I had that power to be able to release that. And we all do, you know, and these are the things we're showing you. This is where it needs to take place at. You know where your mind goes to focus on an everyday basis. Is it going towards things that are nurturing towards you? Do you you allow yourself to see where you can create something and, and allow that to evolve? Are you empowering yourself? Are you empowering others but not yourself? You know, a lot of times we can give so much kindness and wisdom towards other people and encouragement to other people, but are we are we uh, consuming that within ourselves? Are we allowing ourselves to embody that truth too? You know, and a lot of times we don't realize we're projecting the truth, but we're embracing a lot. You know, and that's that, that's a, a no no. We shouldn't do that because it's just a fact is if we can easily tell somebody these are the things that can really come into your life, we have to be, be able to believe that too. You know, I used to be that way. You know, I used to be that way. I used to be so encouraging to people like Rosalind. Wow, you know, I'm not used to somebody giving me that, that you know, that courage and really meaning something by it. And it was just like, it was something. I didn't realize it was something I was projecting, but it was something I wasn't living by. And I did not realize that, and, you know, and it's just being organic and being transparent with that. You know, you can allow yourself to say, yeah, I was living a lie. I didn't even realize it, you know, because I was still focusing on the pain. I was still focusing on what my, my family did to me, what, what they were holding me from, you know, the anguish I felt, you know, when my father passed, you know, all these different things. But then it was just like. This is where the truth changer came in. A lot of times we, we don't know we, we drape that truth within tragedy. A lot of times there's tragedies taking place where we find our, our true selves, our inner selves. And these are the things that the devil don't want you to find. This is the devil don't want us to find that at all. You know, that's why I always, you know, you could be that type of person that just be on that high horse and say, you know what? I'm tired of my life being so sad. I'm tired of my life being what if or what I was lacking or what I don't have or what other people are doing this and this and that. Let me allow myself to just purge that all off, cut all the cords on that and just focus on my healing. And all of a sudden different things coming in. You got negativity whispering in your ear, you know, or certain things you may see on the social media that could be a hidden trigger that you didn't know of because that's what the devil don't want you to find your truth in no kind of way, shape, form possible. You know, he brings different soldiers in that, that watches every move you make. You know, and these are the things where, you know, you have to really be able to find that void. <laughs> you know, that void of where, you know, it's telling you. Because it's like, you know, in your intuitive and in your intuition, that inner you, that higher, you know, that higher essence of yourself is saying something is really truly needing your connection. Something is really needing your attention right now. And you know it, something is bottling up. And matter of fact, it's like everybody's feeling that right now and we don't know what it is in actuality it was the shed of you finding your whole new you the pure pure new you and we don't know how that's going to counter react because i know today was it today or yesterday um i was seeing um a mass uh meditation you know we did this a while back you know when when everything was going on in australia with all the fires and stuff that was going on and we don't realize when we band together you know, it, it's so much hatred in the world. We can band together for wars and all this th different stuff and fight towards, you know, freedom and fight towards equality and all this stuff. That power that we hold within our vibration. And and it's just like a lot of people feel like, oh, it's evil. It's coming. You know, the world is coming to an end. And it's the apocalypse. Apocalypse is truth. Something's being revealed. A veil is coming off. You know, revelations revealing, you know, and that's fear. You know, when truth is coming to the surface and what is coming is your truth. You're feeling all that coming up. Because I was just like, because something came up and it was like that aha moment. I was like, wow, that's what that was. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, it was just like, that's what is coming. You are finding that truth within yourself that you have that boldness that no man can sit up here and tame. There's something in you, that fire that's very fierce within you that nobody can't put out. And that's what the devil does not want you to see. He doesn't want you to see that truth that you don't need him to be able to have a come up. You don't need him to be well known. You don't need him 
to be, you know, uh, famous or, you know, wanting people to know you and stuff like that by your gifts that you carry. You know, if you have something that makes you stick out from different people, which we all do, you know, we all have a trait that it, it can be very intriguing to many people. They are trying to find their way home. You know, when you're trying to find your way home, you're trying to find a way to your truth, trying to find your way to love, heart. It's not a house. It's, it, it's a being. It's, it, it's a vessel. You know, and this is what's going on. What he wants you to forget. You know, you have that power to heal from different things that has, you know, has robbed you of many things. Whether it was your innocence, your soul, just your happiness, your well-being, just your sense of peace. You're, you're getting these restored, but you had to be able to go through that, that evil. You had to be able to go through the treachery. You had to be able to go through the pain. And these are the things that had to go on to where, you know, you, you feel it. You know, it, it's just like a lot of people right now, you're going through a lot of different things. You know, it was like, okay, never mind. They told me that's going to be a different subject on a different video. We're like, no, 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 don't talk about that one yet. But... There's different things that's going on within huge transition and you can feel something. You can feel something because there's veils being snatched every day. Veils being snatched every day. You know? And it's just like you don't know how your, your mind is really changing so many di different things for the better. And that's the reason why there's so many, you know, you can feel some kind of peace. Even when things are not going the way you thought they were, you know, things, it, it's just like, it, it may be hidden or it may be taking slow, you know, to get to you because, you know, there's different things that you know that you, you know, you deserve. You know, there's so many different things that God has promised you and all these things. But then even when those things are, you know, not going as your way, you feel some kind of peace. And this is revealing the inner self of you. You know, I keep on hearing the song, you know, uh, my dad sings to me seven all the time. And it, it, it is just like I felt that, you know, um, seven deadly sins is, is, is becoming into a dissolve. Um, and these are the things that are taking place in your life that, you know, the devil is hoping you forget. You know, he wants you to forget that there's peace. They want you to uh, forget that there's always an end to uh, discouragement, chaos criticism anything that that is evolving that is not coming from a place of peace from love you know truth you know uh uh positivity prosperity anything that is underlining something that is you know god given you know he doesn't want you to remember that that's the reason why a lot of people fear what's coming ahead and it's like that what what is coming is god's truth within you we all have gods in us we all we have we all have that goddess and god within ourselves and that is what is merging you know we feel like oh my god you know the world is coming to an end no it, it is like it's coming to an end to begin something different we've been living like this for too long and we had people where we're in segregations or you know people denying people access to be you know a citizen all these different things you know in the world we're, we're you know being prejudiced towards you know different walks of life because of bad seeds in every you know every 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 living source you know we're all connected no matter where we're from what what language we speak where we are you know where we you know our stomping ground is we are all connected in every way and this is where the truth is banding together with that so you know these are the things you you know you you project that powerful warrior every day when you're allowing yourself to take your power back and say this too shall pass or you know there's different things where people have really hurt you to the core and you're allowing yourself to forgive everybody is human to a, a you know a, a human experience you know there's times where we have all hurt somebody there's something we have all did something to somebody that really disrupted them you know some more than others you know and it, it's just the fact is we we can't criticize and hurt other people because they are not on their their uh journey of healing yet there are some people that deny that there are some people are fearing that you know they they want to pick this picture of themselves just saying i'm fine i'm like okay you have to be able to say okay with that <laughs> you know that's them that's what they want to do that's how they have to be able to uh move you know they'll you know and i always have to remind myself at times when i feel like i'm i might be judgmental towards different things that i see and i know and it's just like you have to let that go 
You know, there are certain things that are just out. There's a lot of things that are out of our control. You know, when you're on your journey, when we, when we, you know, um, people that judge don't understand. The people that don't judge already understands. And I had to be in that vibration of already un be in that place of understanding. Not everybody is on their vibe of healing yet. There's a lot of people that choose not to. You can't force that. You know, you can send love. You can send happiness and peace towards, even towards the enemies that try to go out their way to disturb your peace all the time. You have to understand if people are trying to trigger you, your your just your transition is already triggering them for them to try to trigger you, and that's why they keep continuing to do that because they see the change that you're allowing to take place. They see that they don't have control over your emotions, over your thoughts, over how you speak, how you do this, that, and the third, and you still have to send peace to those people. Because they're at war with themselves. They're, even if it's directed towards you, that war is with themselves, not you. Because you were at war with yourself at one time. I can't allow myself to say that. And I'll, I'll, I placed that flag there and said, I'm done. I'm ready to get on my, my, my utopia, my peace and paradise. And you have to be on that way too. So if there are certain things you feel you know something's coming, it's the fact is you are unveiling that true you. That, that, that union of a warrior that was hidden for so long is starting to merge this is what is starting to you know show face to you and these are the things you you know you'll see you even probably have had different visions where it, it didn't make sense to you and certain things are starting to come to the surface where it's starting to make sense but it's like I'm really trying to get it <laughs> you know and then this is like this is what it's showing you what is coming is the truth within ourselves this is where the love is taking place. We had to be able to go towards the surface and scratch that, you know, that harshness that we had in our lives of hate, you know, anger towards other people, towards ourselves, regret, resentment on things that, you know, we should have said, we should have did, we, you know, we should have done. Sadness and anger, you know, confusion, all those different things are starting to dissolve. You're starting to see it in the world where, you know, there, there's ancient ones that are just passing away and uh, give much prayers and uh, and um, just comfort. You know, uh, uh, what was it Ashley and Winona Judd's mom passed away last night. That was a beautiful woman. There, I, there was at a time where I didn't even know which one was the mama because they were all beautiful. And, they, you know, she, she's the one, one, one with the ancestors. And um, I knew something was going on when I sat up here and thought about Ashley Judd. And I was thinking about Double Jeopardy. And I was just like, why would I think about that? And all of a sudden that happened. But just sending love and uh, comfort towards their family because I know they're going through a grief. You know, that's like that with anybody whose parents that fall, fall, you know, you know, fall from life. You know, but that's, you know, internal love of living. So um, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, y'all been dropping daggone gems of comments like crazy. And um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Lola La Bruja. Um, uh, was it Andrea Kelly and Carl Fouquet? Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. And it's all about spiritual networking, just give you that deeper, um, understanding of purpose of, of, of your path. And, you know, if you want to share different things with me, you know, I know it's, it's hard to be able to open up to people you don't know. But, you know, you're guided towards me for a reason. Um, so I try my best to be able to help out the best way possible. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And I leave my uh, link to my podcast as well. And I need to get back up on those because I've been doing so many different things. I've been staying really busy. So I got to get back on that and fit that in my schedule. So, um, as well, and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, it's greatly appreciated. I always leave my cash app there as well. I hope whatever you are trying to manifest into your life, it gives you so many um, beautiful, uh, you know, vibes of prosperity and abundance. Whatever it is, it's going to bring you to your knees. You know, stay persistent and consistent. You know, the enemy is wanting you to give up because he may want to give up today. And next thing you know, you get blessed tomorrow. Allow yourself to keep going because it's always going to pop off on you when you least expect. And as always, if God got you waiting this long and he got you going through all them changes, is more than you ever prepared yourself for. So much love to you. Peace.